group of science students turned an historic Revolutionary War battleground into an outdoor classroom today. News 12's Carolyn Rowe is in Stony Point tonight with their story. We found something here. These students are trying out their science skills in a place filled with history. That could possibly be an artifact, maybe something that's buried underneath the ground. They're using what is called ground penetrating radar to search the Stony Point Battlefield and Lighthouse State Historic Site for bodies of soldiers who died there during the Revolutionary War. There are definitely bodies buried here. We know there were 40 men killed during the course of the battle, about 20, 20 British, 20 Americans. We also know there were six deserters that were hung here. The students are leaving markers where they think there could be something buried. They're then hoping an archaeologist will come in, do some digging, and see what they actually found. So we found a couple of spots where we may actually have several graves right together. It's all part of a program called Highlands to Piedmont, run by Rutgers University Newark that's designed to get minority students interested in the geosciences. I learned that this is actually pretty easy to use and it's not hard to, you know, if you really put your mind into it, it's really, it's really fun. Lots of teamwork and hands-on activities better than the classroom. A way to see how science can be applied beyond the classroom and possibly help uncover bodies buried centuries ago. In that case, then we can kind of set up a memorial on this historic park to all of these soldiers who fell in battle. In Stony Point, Carolyn Rowe, News 12. How cool is that? Well, today's field trip is part of a summer program funded by a grant from the National Science Foundation.